trying to say is the first part of your game development is very different from the second part of your game development. And that's what this 444 rule refers to. Um, can anybody guess what this is about who doesn't know what it's about? If you add up the two numbers, what do you get? What does that refer to, you think? 48 hours. The hours. You've got 48 hours to make a game. Now, the basic rule that I keep in mind for game development is if you spend X amount of hours on something, it's going to take that amount of hours times 10 to polish it into something good. So the 444 rule is literally my way of saying spend four hours making your game. You've got four hours to make a game. At the end of those four hours, you need to figure out whether it's good or not, whether you're happy with it. And if it is, you commit to it, and you keep going until the end, but all you do is polish. You don't add. You don't make new con You don't make new stuff. You don't in introduce new mechanics. Just the stuff you made in the four first four hours, polish. Make it feel nicer, make it look better, make it sound nice, talk to somebody who can make the music, if you don't have a musician or you aren't a musician. Spend that time polishing this one thing, because as you're polishing, you're going to find things that you dig up, right? So when you're making a game, it's not as if good game designers know, you know, this is it, right? What, what they got really good at during their experience in the industry is digging. So you make something and then you feel it's good. Something in you feels it's good, it's interesting, it's weird, it's different, you're happy with it. But you don't know what it is. Your first job as a designer is to figure out what that is. What is the thing that's interesting? What's the thing that made you go, this is good? Is it, is it the movement? Is it the jump? Is it the interaction? Is it that it's a new type of interaction? Is it something you've never seen before? Is it clever? Is it the art style? Is it the music? Is it the fact that the music is connected to the movement? Is it that the art is connected to the movement? What is, what is interesting? Is it a cool double jump? Is it, um, is it a, a way of uh, speaking to another character that is interesting and makes you feel things? What is it? What is interesting? If you spend 44 hours polishing it, you have a lot of time to figure that out. But if you don't, if you just keep adding, what you're going to do is not make the game better. You're going to muddle. Because all you've got 48 hours. You maybe got time to dig at one thing. You don't have time to dig at all the things. So every time somebody adds something, and this is a very common mistake people make, is they think games get better when you add more stuff. A good design isn't when you can't add things anymore. A good design is when you can't take anything away anymore without it breaking. Okay? So when you're making something, find that little core, that thing that you're trying to make, and see what's interesting. Find that. Polish that. That is the diamond of your game. That's the interesting part of your game. Don't go and build. If you find a, if you find something very valuable, a beautiful gem or something, the way you deal with that is not by building a house around it, right? You don't just put dirt around it to be like, let's add more stuff, and then we'll see what happens. No, what you do is you take the gem and you put it in a glass cage so you can see it perfectly. Do that with your game. Think about your game like that. 